Hey, welcome back. It's party in the back. It's party not in the back. Ple it's not, not pleasure. pleasure. The extra 30 minutes that your users that pay the extra 12 bucks a month yeah. get? This yeah. Oh, the, cool. This is yeah. the raunchy oh, this, stuff. This is the one we can cuss in, right, yeah. fuckheads? This is Rad Blast after dark. This is a, so what are the rules <laughs> on podcasts? Like, what do you got to uh, We don't have any fucking rules. FCC guidelines? We don't have any fucking rules at all. Because it's not no radio. fucking rules. It's a goddamn free-for-all. I love this. Where the hell have I been for the last 50 years? Our right, episodes can be brought to you by anybody. Jeez. They, yeah. could, brought to, they could be brought to you by uh, Chaz's water bottles. Yeah. I want to, seven dollars a bottle. I want mine to be brought to me by a gargoyle in a red wig. Oh, <laughs> that's a weird commercial. I like that. How do you buy that? On. I don't oh, know. Man. Maybe if you have your customer or your uh, listeners pay extra, you'll you'll show up in a gargoyle costume with a I would. copy of the. They are kind of our customers, though, right? Yeah, man. Uh, it's, a, it's a business like any other. You gotta, you gotta. They, what you, they you sell with their views. What are you peddling? And they're peddling they, views. They pay with their views. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Oh, one of my favorite lines I ever wrote for a rap was, uh, I've been the, I'm in the field of amusing humans and business is booming. <laughs> huh, I like that. Yeah, man. So, uh, what's new with you guys? What's going uh, on? Oh. Blizzards. Blizzards. I wrote that down uh, mm -hmm. a few weeks ago because I just like wanted to the tell winter you. storm? No, or? no, no. Like the treat from DQ. Oh, oh okay. From the yeah, Dairy Queen. Indiana Blizzard story Listen, ready to go. them in motherfuckers had a deal that said if you buy a large blizzard, you get the second one for 99 cents. <laughs> Did you freeze them? Bro, I was going there like every day. How long was the deal for? It's a problem, I don't know. <laughs> At least a week and a half for however long I went. So do y'all you, you find that filmmakers and actors have more addictive personalities? Probably. Yeah. I've noticed that. I, like, it's one of the things I've noticed about Especially myself. We always hear that about Hollywood, yeah. right? All the drugs and partying Ooh. and sex. And well, I think it all stems because you need that shit to like, not like the drugs. Well, sometimes drugs, yeah, to stay yeah. awake. You're on set for 12 hours a day at the minimum, probably. Yeah. I think it also can be used as like an escape hatch too, right? Because, you know, if you've got all that fucking money and fame and people sending you death threats and people stalking you and just, I mean, okay, like if you were... I don't have any money or fame, but I got someone stalking me. Like if you yeah. were Taylor <laughs> Swift... <laughs> How fucking crazy would your just every day be well, just if, trying to exist as a human on the planet? If you want to talk well, about my day as Taylor Swift, the government will come down with some regulations on this medium. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, it'll get weird. Yeah. Just anybody with, yeah, I mean, they're on a different level. They can't even go out in public anymore. That's ridiculous to me. I, I, and, I, you know, I'm looking forward to it if, if it ever happens, but uh, that's still ridiculous to me. You know, the and, first um, person that I ever really heard a, a, a bitch about that was Eminem in the Marshall Mathers LP. He went fucking off about it. Yeah. He was like, I can't take a shit in the bathroom without somebody asking yep. for an autograph. And it was just like, whoa, uh, maybe their lives aren't as awesome as we all have always thought. No. And then Jim Carrey, what did Jim Carrey say? He said, I wish that everybody could get rich and famous so they would know that it's not the answer. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, holy shit. I mean, when you talk about the American dream, that's what most of us, especially us, our age, because yep. we were the last pre-internet age. Oh, yeah, that's true. You know, our generation were the last ones before we stepped into the cyberspace. You know, we were still back on VCRs and... I still uh, think you'd be famous and nobody phones. knows who you are, though. You know? Like... Yeah. Well, you know, the, there are behind those the people. scenes on stuff, like you're yeah. a producer or something. Nobody knows There are people the like that, man. Like. There are people that people would recognize for sure. Like, oh, I've seen him in a bunch of shit. But you wouldn't recognize him on the street. Yeah, but if you're a famous director, you automatically... I'm an actor. I don't even know who the big directors are. I could fucking point out Steven Spielberg, like, in a lineup. Oh, what well, director? Sure. Yeah, if you saw him walking down the yeah, road, you'd probably... If I saw fucking... Uh, what's his name? Uh... See, that's the thing. Who did the Michael Bay? I don't even know who Michael Bay looks like. Dude. I've never seen you know his face. Who, you know who's really I innocuous looking? It's Wes Anderson. That guy could probably just do whatever oh, he wants. Oh, he could blend in. No, yeah, I feel like, like he, he is. He's got a pretty recognizable he's, face. He's unique, I, I noticed. I'd, I'd notice Opie, though. But that's the thing, too. We grew up in an age where going to study Opie. this to Opie. Uh, Opie, Opie Cunningham. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I thought you meant like yeah. Ron Opie Howard. And, what is that show? The Ron Opie Howard. and... Oh, Opie and Eddie oh. Show. What were you? I thought that's what you were talking about too. Who were you talking about? Uh, Ron Howard. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I thought you were talking about the radio show host. Is like, how the fuck? Oh, like Opie and like? Anthony. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my god. Because <laughs> we're doing radio right now. Yeah, that's how oh, the okay. brain works. All right, I'm with you. Oh, Jazz, you have shit. a face for radio. 
Yeah, I, I've been told that before. Thanks. <laughs> you got a great voice too. You should, yeah. Uh, people, you, you know how many bottle. times people have told me that, and I don't get it at all because when I edit and listen to myself, I'm like, I just sound. It's, just so it's unique. It doesn't matter what if unique, good or unique, bad. I mean, like it's the difference between Christopher Walken and Robert De Niro. You know, Robert De Niro is unique in his really cool, haunting way. Christopher Walken is unique in his really weird, off-putting way. You know, it's like he's so goofy. But at the same time, they they both can go to that other extreme too. That's I remember what, him yeah. in Batman Returns. Christopher yes. Walken. Yeah, wasn't he the guy? With he the was the bad guy. Head? What? Yeah, he was the yeah. bad guy. Google it. Google image search Christopher Walken Batman Returns. Oh, uh, yep. And you'll know as soon as you see it. It's just hard to remember because Actually, most of what we remember from that movie is Michelle Pfeiffer Google, and Danny Google DeVito. Illuminati symbolism. Yeah. <laughs> something, something in film. Yeah. <laughs> www.conspiracy.com. <laughs> There's a whole conspiracy yeah, built around it. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, look at that. Um, that's it's super bizarre. What's it called? Uh, that Johnny Carson freaking uh, psychic. Oh, oh my oh, God! What God, is hilarious. what's the name? Now I'm gonna feel dumb. Yeah, we're the dumb. great Carmine. Is yeah. it Carmine? Is it Carmine? I don't think Carmine's it. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Holy crap! I don't remember him being in that at all. Yeah. What was what was search um search Johnny Carson the Great? Oh my God! Is this what podcasts have evolved into? Like people searching shit on the internet? Hey, listen! If you want to go back and listen to the <laughs> the first fucking eighty five episodes of Rad Blast, uh, you'll see a lot. Karnak. of it. You'll hear a lot of it. Karnak. Karnak. Yeah. That's what it That's is. It. Karnak. Oh, my dad would be disappointed in me not knowing that. You know that my dad saw Jimi Hendrix live and he burned his guitar on stage. Oh, yeah. Why did you? He dad told me that Jimmy when Hendrix I was. No, Jimmy <laughs> did. He told me that when I was about thirteen, and he just said it. He's just so smug about it. It's like, <laughs> hey, yeah, you know, I saw Jimmy uh, in concert, and I was like, get the fuck out of here. He's like, yeah, uh, and he burned his guitar. I'll burn your guitar <laughs> too. I mean, if you'll quit that shit. I would burn a person. If yeah. I could go back in time and watch that. I <laughs> Jesus mean, some, of, some of those moments just... I want to dissect this burning a person thing. <laughs> oh, you don't want to go down that Do you road. you remember the dude in Burning Man? Yeah. Did he burn someone? No, he ran into the fire and burned Himself. alive. Oh, yeah. good. Well, that was bound to happen. Yeah. I mean, it's a bunch of people in the desert doing drugs. Psychedelics. Yeah. Walking yeah. around naked. I mean, I don't have anything against it. Feel free, but... Uh, oh, next year you're going to have a fence around it, so bitch. Yeah, you might have a bad... Yeah, you might have to... Ha the government might be getting involved soon. Which is crazy. They put up a whole town and then burned it to the ground. Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah. I saw a documentary about it. You know what else I saw a documentary about is, like, this tickling thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. This tickling porno thing. Oh, my God. Where... I gotta uh, talk to my agent. They're, hiring, <laughs> they're hiring people to <laughs> tickle each other. Why? And that... Because people get off to it, I guess get off the pure joy i guess but it's so weird because they hire these these two guys to tickle each other or one of them to tickle the other one and there's nothing sexual that they do oh they no it's sexual they don't right. well no it definitely is to someone yeah. but i mean in the in the in the purest definition of genitals so, and kissing so it's I, none of that it's just tickling i'm i'm so let me pick it up what you're putting down here people are paying two boys Girls doesn't really matter. Yeah, just yeah. To tickle each other. Most of them on, were male on film. Oh yeah, most of them were male. Yeah, I don't know what that is. That's about. I've heard that. It's a phenomenon. It's very weird. Yeah. Um, there's yeah, a I lot of weird. It's still different. Shit. Well, it's pretty different. It's pretty different. Shitting on each other. I mean. Well. Well, I watched a I watched a documentary the other day on uh, the tra on transgender people. Okay. And one of the people on there was a porn star named Buck Angel. Buck Angel. And she was born a woman. And is now a man, but didn't do any kind of procedural stuff, so still has a vagina. Huh. And is in porn. Interesting. As a man with a vagina oh, who has sex with other men. She shit on him? No. Oh, because he just said people shit on I just thought it was, that was a long drawn out yeah. <laughs> Shizer story. <laughs> anyway, it's, I'm not, I don't have anything against it at all. Like I said, feel free to do whatever you want to do and be happy. That's great. Yeah. It's just, I don't know, it's just interesting. Now now that we have so much access to so much more information than we've ever had before, yeah, you people just see are like, that stuff. People are just branching out now. Yeah. Well, I think it's part of becoming the Borg. I think that we're all, because you realize it's how... Becoming aware of each other's deepest, darkest... Well, you secrets. realize, take something as easy as an example as a meme. Yeah. You know, that is something that shows qualities of the Borg. It says, okay, so we've all agreed collectively that this picture means this. Yeah. So if there are words attached to it, we know how the person is saying it or 
what the context is. That's just terrifying. based on this picture that we've all agreed upon means this. I don't know. Um, and we've done it without, it's the first time that we've done it without actually interacting and seeing one another. That's true. Because, you know, if you look at something like the stop sign, that was probably a meeting. People sat down and they were like, all right, we're going to make it an octagon. We're going to paint it red, right? So then everybody could see red. But something like a meme is all digital. It's purely just through this machine. I don't no, no, know. No, 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 no. I think memes go back a long way. We were just talking about this the other night, like the little Superman or the S thing. Yeah. The weird S Oh, draw? yeah, yeah. That's a meme. Dilbert? Well, yeah, it is in terms of the evolving idea, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's just happens. Oh, yeah, Kil 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 Kilroy Kil was here. Yeah, Kilroy. Yeah. yeah. It just, um, it's just going much faster now. Yeah. Why just like with faster? technology, dude. They say, they say that it well, increases Well, you look at every it. political cartoon ever in a newspaper. That's the same thing as a meme. It's just, just um, I think the meme is probably more distilled. Right. I would, I, yeah. I, I shirk from saying refined. I think it's distilled more. It's a shorter, yeah. Sure, yeah. Another example is uh, these things that happen, um, anything, name a thing, the guy on United yeah. Airlines, the nurse with yeah, the Yeah, everyone knows about this stuff now. It's everybody weird. knows about it instantly yeah. and everybody has an opinion on it and it's usually... And everyone thinks their opinion matters or is good. And everybody's a, everybody's <laughs> a lawyer and a yeah. doctor and a... It's just strange. And, and we all just kind of, it, it's, we all just kind of jump on it like ants. And we all just, you know, we, we filter through it and say our piece and hear other people's piece and bitch about it. And then mystically, it just kind of drops away until the next thing we all jump on to. Well, do you remember watching The Matrix and like the first time that he like put the, he got the thing in the back of his head and he's like, I need to know how to fly a helicopter or some shit. And he's just like, here you go. And like computer, like, you know, computer yeah. oh, stuff. Yeah. And he's yeah. just like, here we go. I can fly a helicopter. It's kind of like that with YouTube now. Not, oh, not yeah. to the extent where like you know how to fucking do it, but like you can watch a video on anything. Yep. And learn how to do it. Like if you don't know how to do it, you can watch a well, video and figure it out. Yeah. yeah. I don't and know how to work on my truck. Anytime yeah. I need to fix something on my truck, I'd watch thirty or forty videos on people fixing the same damn part I got. You just fix. go out there, you know how to do it, and it's yeah. done. It's, I it's like I've done it thirty or forty times. I fixed. It. Yeah. I fixed my window in my Nissan. My window fell off the track into yeah. the door, and I was like, holy shit, what am I going to do? I'm not going to fucking take this to a place that's going to charge me 200 bucks to fucking open it before right. they can help me. So I found a video on YouTube where they're like, hey, uh, did you did your window fall into the door? Well, here, all you have to do is open the door. And I just watched it, and it was, it was about a 16-minute video, and I watched it while I did it, and everything was fine. Yeah. yeah, and it's just fixed now. And it's like, holy shit! How much money did I just save by watching a sixteen-minute yeah, video you. on you're, YouTube for free? Look at you! You're a human being with opposable thumbs. You can actually do stuff. Yeah, you don't have to be a doctor or a lawyer. And that's what I love, kind of love about the internet. It really freed a lot of people up um, to realize what they can do. We're we're all just as capable as anyone else. You what do you, know, what do you think about this Bitcoin thing? I'm not buying. It. I like cash. I like gold and silver coin. That's what I'm going to stick with. I've been saying since I was. In the Navy at 22 years old, no, 24, I think, when I came up with the initial theory. I've been saying since I was 24 years old that cell phones were the mark of the beast. And I tell you what, man, soon they're going to try to outlaw cash. They're going to put everything to that phone. So every dollar that comes your way or goes away from you gets taxed that it's you know, oh, yeah. correct. You know what I'm saying? And a ball black market will be shut down and shit like well, that. They're, so already... they're, they're, they're moving toward it. They love this like uh, paperless currency. That way they don't have to account for it. Well, it's just numbers in a computer somewhere. Right. And yeah. those can be lost and those can oh, be corrupted yeah. and Deleted those can be hijacked. Or, yep, and, yep. Yeah. That's it's, where I think we're going. So I'm I'm kind of I am kind of I've always been a little skeptical of technology. I think you have to be, you know, it's, Well, at least you, a little bit. I mean, yeah, I mean you slowly I don't know. bring it on, you slowly integrate it into into society, see how it works and be aware of the dangers and all that kind my, of My my fiance is extremely positive about it. Um, she's very optimistic. My mother's whenever like we, that. She's whenever wonderful. we talk about robots and shit, yeah. she's just very much like, no, it's going to be great. It's going to be, you know, and I was like, you, maybe I've seen too many science fiction movies. Maybe I've seen The Terminator too many times. But for me, <laughs> the, the idea of sentient AI is terrifying to me. Oh, terrifying. Well, check this out. So on the, uh, on the like intelligence side of things, so you have raw, raw uh, data that comes in and then it has to see an analyst. So an analyst will, uh, will pour over bits of information and, and then make a decision on good, bad, and different. Doesn't really matter what will, won't, what won't happen. Now that's limited. There's only about what I think say 800,000 intelligence, you know, oper or uh, analysts or something like that in the world. Maybe into the millions. But you can fill a room in a computer bank 
full of trillions and trillions of analysts, oh, each yeah. working individually, processing that information, making yes, no statements. So it, the problem with Big Brother has always been not enough people to control the prison. Well, with AI, they, they have unlimited people. That's true. Unlimited people. You can have 10 people, 10 analysts analyzing everything you de do all day long, every day. Well, they're already starting with yeah. the chips and stuff. You know, that's the move with the lost kid thing. It's like, well, right. if you have a chip in your kid, he can't get lost. And then that opens that door. And then they're doing stuff. That, this was a few years ago that I yeah. read this article about this girl in California who had gotten her, who had gotten some sort of a chip or a tattoo on her. Oh, right, I think right. it was like a barcode tattoo oh, yeah, on her that. arm. And when they scan it at the bar, they can confirm her age by her ID because it has all of that information and they can start her tab. So she pretty much has her ID, a driver's license right. and her, uh, her credit card info in on her arm. I'm that way skeptical just... away from becoming that girl. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's going to be the next move is when people start doing these enhancements, like now, because uh, the, the first bro. thing that's going to happen is Google's going to give internet to everybody on the planet. That's the first thing that's going to happen. That's why they bought 600 satellites. Google is going to say, everybody can get on the internet for free. That's why they're trying to split it up and, and charge And cause us. all men, small and great, to receive a mark and number of his name. Correct. Right? All men, small and great. The Queen of England has a smartphone. Mm -hmm. The guy living under the bridge near my house has a smartphone. Mm -hmm. All men, all people, small and great. I don't think they need to move to the chip. I think they already got it. Got us with our phones, bro. Yeah. Unless you're talking about an implantable phone. Well, now, I mean, if, you, if you're telling me you can come in, you can put something in my wrist and my thumb, and I can talk on a phone, read my text messages, do all that shit with with nothing while I'm naked at the beach, then well, I'm sold too. They're it's they're already open. they're already yeah. fucking with the genome. So mm -hmm. my question is: is how long is it before the people fucking with the genome get together with the people at Google? And say, listen, oh, what if there were a way for us to implant already happened. some shit with this embryo? And then they are they are actually born with a tracking device. Am I the only one that doesn't really fucking care? Like, yeah. if they put a tracking chip on me, I don't care. They're already tracking me with this. They already have satellites that can look yeah. probably through the roof of the house and just see what I'm doing. Like, I don't oh, know. if they hey, wanted to be gone, living, they could just yeah. drone you. I'm yeah. living I'm living kind of six feet in front of me. So if it, if, if it happens, it, ha it doesn't really matter. If it gets to the point... I don't know, you ever seen Fog of War? You know, when chaos starts, all of a sudden everything that was in a place is just out of place and now it's just everywhere. When that starts happening, I'll march forward with my rifle and do the best I can. Hope I don't get killed. Yeah, if they're I just guess. watching me take a shit in the bathroom, yeah. I don't care about that. If they're watching me, like, it just doesn't matter to me. Like, I don't care. Well, Probably the only isn't that big of a deal. The fear is when they come, when, if, if they ever decide to crack down on you for whatever reason. Yeah, but I'm not doing anything nefarious. So well, who, like, gets to, who gets to decide what's nefarious? Well, not only that, but I have a bunch of friends that have guns and have training with guns. So I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll just go. call my homeboys out. I'll be like, listen. You just make sure you're useful, huh? Yeah. Well, remember, <laughs> remember all those great times we had? Oh, I need shit. your help. I'm just going to use my pellet pistol and uh, I just don't like annoy them to death. My fiance asked me the other day, uh, she, she was like, we should get a 3D printer. And I was like, what are we going to do with the 3D printer? She was like, well, I don't know. What's the first thing you would print? And I was like, a gun. <laughs> yeah. she, she looked at me and she was like, uh, what, what, why, would you, why would you print a gun? Because I, I can't like, print um, drugs. <laughs> because then I wouldn't have to. <laughs> because then I wouldn't have to buy it, and well, I so wouldn't have to get a license. Our friend for Jeff it. actually came up with this idea a long time ago: the ability to download the effects into your body of feeling whatever drug you wanted to without That's actually kinda... using. Interesting. Because yeah. all the drug does is is react to certain chemicals in your brain. Right. So if you like download the feeling of of being high or like being drunk, but you're never you know you wouldn't that premise of that just movie go um... away, and then you'd wake up and be like, well, all right, I'm good. Giant mnemonic or something like that. I don't know. Well, that's um, that's that's like DMT. You know, yeah. DMT is natural in the brain. That's what makes us dream. But you can smoke it. So yeah. I've heard yeah. and go on some crazy spirit. Or if you just drink it too. Or Jack you know, the, the plant ayahuasca. You know that there was a recent study. I think I heard about this on Joe Rogan. There was a recent study uh, uh, that had determined that it was very possible that the burning bush that Moses references was an ayahuasca bush. Oh, and they were like, "Well, yeah, that'll make you see God." Yeah, yeah. That, makes, that makes sense. If there's a if there's an ayahuasca bush burning ten feet in front of you, you'll see all kinds <laughs> of like, shit. 
Oh, yeah, Bush that there's on fire. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. Well, that was yeah, uh, Tuesday. Tuesday with, Tuesday with Tom. Tuesday with Tom. Tuesday, the, the Tuesday part yeah. two day Tuesday with Tom. We'll have to do Tom, it next. Thanks for being on the show, man. Oh, my pleasure, my yeah, friend. Yeah, man. We yeah. had a good time. Yeah. We'll have to do it next Tuesday, too. Good luck to all your endeavors. Yeah. Later. Every now and then. Thanks.